this is like a storage basement that I need to work on. I want this basement to look brighter and clean. So it's time to donate some clothes. I've been donated 60 bags already. So it's time to put all this leftover to the garbage. As you can see, I am starting removing a carpet. So I did it by section so it would be easier for me to roll the It was shocking for me to see this because I thought it was a plain cement underneath of the carpet but there is a old vinyl that was put long time ago so now I have to fix all of this broken vinyl because I think I can put um, vinyl over vinyl so now huh, I have to figure it out what, what to do with this If you notice that there is like a yellow stain and patches, that's uh, a glue that, you know, stick on the vinyl. That's what they use when they do the carpeting then. I believe that this house was built before 1980s and this vinyl is really old. So I need to do some research about what kind of glue they've been using during the time because I've heard that they've been using a glue that contains of asbestos during the time. So I don't want to remove all those vinyl, then I'm going to inhale all of them and cause cancer. So I need to really, you know, really careful about what I'm doing in here. So I'm just going to do, um, put a vinyl on those side that is broken, but I have to fix first, you know, make sure there's no holes and put the vinyl over so that even out the old vinyl. We need to have a good ventilation. Make sure that we are going to open all the windows because we don't want to inhale all the chemicals and the dust. We don't want to get sick for our safety. After removing all those broken vinyl, the holes are covered and the area is clean. We can now start putting the uh, primer and leave it 30 to 45 minutes before putting the, uh, the new vinyl. dry now I guess we are ready to put a new vinyl so let's get started I decided to use my leftover vinyl when I did my room so I need only one box for this so for sure it's gonna cover the whole entire edge after I come home from work I work on my basement for at least five to seven hours I'm looking forward to finish this for three weeks so I'm so excited how this one looks like finally the vinyl is intact and um, it's time to clean up so I can put the primer over the vinyl I just get done putting the primer on the vinyl. We are going to wait for another 30-45 minutes again before putting the new vinyl. I use Carrara marble. I bought this one at Home Depot. I think this marble looks perfect in this room because I want this room looks brighter. So we'll see.
I choose gray color paint for the wall so it's gonna be look brighter in here It's time to remove the carpet in the stairs, so we'll see what's underneath. Okay, staple is all over. We need to remove one by one. Put the primer and put the vinyl. It's time for molding. I have to call my dad about the angle part. How to cut them so that they can meet in the corner and I have this miter box we'll see it's gonna help me